So let's talk about significant figures. Now, what I've done is I've getting, gotten the rules for significant figures, and I've taken this screenshot from your star chart. So you get your star chart on the test. If you need to use these rules and look on them to refresh when we're on a test, use them. Okay, now the first rule says that non-zero digits and zeros between non-zero digits are always significant. An example of this, okay, all non-zero digits are significant. In this number, 943.85, since they're all non-zero, that means that we have one, two, three, four, five sig figs in that number. Okay, and then zeros between non-zero digits are always significant. So if we're looking at this, we know that nine significant, four significant, and three significant because they're non-zeros. Okay, but that zero, and I like to call this a sandwich zero. Okay, it's in between two non-zero digits, so therefore it's significant as well. So in 9,403, you have four sig figs. Okay. On the next rule, it says that leading zeros are not significant. In this case, we're looking at zeros in the front. Okay. So all of these zeros are not significant, and this number only has one sig fig because that five is a non-zero digit. Okay. The next rule says that zeros to the right of all non-zero digits are only significant if a decimal point is shown. So in this one right here, 500, we only have one sig fig because there's no decimal. It would just be this five, okay, because it's a non-zero digit. But in 500.0, since there's a decimal, okay, we have one, two, three, four sig figs on this one. Okay, so a decimal point changes everything. If there is one, we count the zeros. If not, then we don't. But remember, like on rule number two, leading zeros don't count, even if they are, there is a decimal in the number. And then lastly, it says for values written in scientific notation, the digits in the coefficient are significant. So the numbers up here are going to be our sig figs. So we have one, two sig figs in that scientific notation. And then in number five, number five uh, we'll probably only use if um, you go into AP Chem.